kids, I'm Miss Bev, and I'm the Children's Ministry Director at Bellevue Christian Church. And we are a church where ordinary kids are learning to live everyday life like Jesus. And today is a very special day that we are celebrating. Can you tell me what today is? No, it's not Christmas. Let's try again. What is today? Say it real loud. Yes, it's Mother's Day. It's so exciting that we are celebrating our moms and our grandmas and our aunts and those special people that live with us and help take care of us. So today, before we begin, Miss Bev has something that I want to show, show you that are superheroes, just like our moms. Miss Bev has her superhero shirt on today in honor of Mother's Day. Um, so let me show you some superheroes and you tell me who they are. So yell it out real loud when you see them. Okay, so who are these superheroes? Very good, Spider-Man, very good. Okay, let's see who else Miss Bev has. Who is this? Can you see him? I believe that's Superman. Good job. Let's see here. This isn't really a superhero, but we love Ninja Turtles, right? Okay, I have a picture now, and let's see who all the superheroes are on this picture. Can you see all of them? Tell me some of their names. Who do you see on this picture? Yes, I see Wonder Woman and I see Batman. You're right, and Superman's in the middle. Good job. So, today kids, as we talk about Mother's Day, we are talking about how they are our superheroes too. Moms love us and they care for us so much. And today we're going to talk about a very, very special mom. The super love that your mom has for you or your grandma is just like the love that God has for each one of you. And in the Bible, there is a story about a mom who loved her son so very much. And we're going to read about this mom today. So Miss Bev has her uh, children's Bible. This is the one that we use in church. And we are going to be reading out of the book of Exodus. Remember, Exodus is in the Old Testament of the Bible. And we're going to be reading um, chapter 2 of Exodus. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 10. Okay? It says, a man and a woman from the tribe of Levi got married. She became pregnant and had a son by him. She saw that her baby was a fine child, so she hid him for three months. After that, she couldn't hide him any longer, so she got a basket that was made out of the stems of tall grass. She coated it with tar. Then she placed the child in it. She put the basket in the tall grass that grew along the bank of the Nile River. The child's sister wasn't far away, and she wanted to see what would happen. Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile River to take a bath. Her attendants were walking along the bank of the river. She saw the basket in the tall grass. So she sent for her female attendants to get it. When she opened up the basket, she saw the baby. He was crying. She felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister spoke to Pharaoh's daughter. She asked, do you want me to go and get one of the Hebrew women? She could take care of the baby for you. Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, take this baby, take care of him for me and I will pay you. So the woman, she took the baby and took care of him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son and she named him Moses. She said, I pulled him out of the water. 
Guys, before we begin, I want to show you a picture here of what this story might have looked like. If you see on this side, do you see this side? This is the mother. This is Moses' mother. Her name was Jochebed. Can you say Jochebed? And she's putting the baby into the water. Do you see that? And here is Pharaoh's daughter, and she found the baby. Let's see. Let's do this. I have a little pan of water here. So kids, as we celebrate Mother's Day today, we know that mothers are a special, special gift from God. And mothers and grandmothers and that special person that lives with you, they are special. They help take care of you. So as our story went, this is going to be our Nile River. This is our water. So as our story went, you can see the water here. Jochebed, she was an Israelite, a Hebrew woman. And she was living in Egypt, as our story said. And the Egyptians, they had made a law, Pharaoh had made a law that all the baby boys would be killed. And that made Jochebed very, very sad. She was afraid that her baby was going to be killed. And she didn't know what to do. So Jochebed decided to take her baby. There's our baby Moses. Jochebed made a basket and she put Moses into this basket and she went down to the Nile River. We're going to pretend that this is our Nile River. Can you say Nile River? Good job. So she took the baby Moses down to the Nile River in his basket and she put him. It says she put him underneath these tall greens. She was kind of trying to hide Moses. I think she was probably a little scared but she wanted to protect Moses and save him. She didn't want Pharaoh and his armies to find Moses and kill him. So she hid him under the green by the Nile River. Look at that. Can you see that? So while Moses was there, our story says that Pharaoh's daughter came down to the Nile River and she saved Moses. And she let Jochebed actually take care of Moses and then gave Moses back to Pharaoh's daughter. Moses ended up being a great man in the Bible. And Moses was a great man because he had a mom who loved him and cared for him. She had super love for uh, Moses, just like your moms and grandmas have for you. She kept Moses safe by putting him in the basket so that no one would find him to kill him. God gives us moms also, guys. He gives you uh, moms and grandmas. He gives you aunts. He gives you special people um, that love you and they care for you. Let's take a moment here, and I want you all to just think about your mom or your grandma. Think about that special person that lives with you. Maybe it's an aunt. Maybe it is a stepmom. Maybe it's an adoptive mom or a foster mom. I want you to take just a minute and I want you to think about that woman that lives with you, that takes care of you. Now let's think about all the things that she does for you every single day. Can you think of some things? Maybe say some things out loud if your brother or sister are sitting with you. Maybe your mom is sitting with, her, with you. Tell her about the things that you appreciate that she does for you. Let's see. Let's, let's list a few of those things. Does your mom, uh, does she cook for you? Maybe she makes you chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese. Does she do your laundry? Does she clean your clothes? Maybe she helps clean up your room for you. Does your mom take care of you when you're sick? Maybe sometimes she takes time off of her work to take you to the doctor. Does your mom or your grandma, do they drive you to soccer practice or baseball practice? 
Moms do so much for each of us. There are super moms and they love us just the way God loves us too. And today, guys, as we celebrate our moms, I want you to take a moment today and I want you to go up to that special person, that mom, that grandma, and I want you to thank them. I want you to maybe to write a special note for them or give them a hug or do an extra chore to let them know how much you love and you care and you appreciate what they do for you. God has blessed us with wonderful moms and grandmas in our lives, and we want to take today um, just to, to thank them and to celebrate them. And just like Jochebed, Moses' mother, who had the courage to hide Moses and to take care of him, that's what your mom does for you every single day. Now, before we end our lesson, I do have a special picture that I would like to share with each one of you. Last year, my family got to go on a superheroes boat trip. And we got to go on a boat ride, and we got to see and meet lots of superheroes, as you can see in the back of the picture. And we got to dress up as superheroes or wear our superheroes t-shirts and had lots of fun all day. Uh, these are my kids and my grandkids who I get to celebrate Mother's Day today with. Um, and we had lots of fun dressing up and spending the day with all of these superheroes. And I wanted to share that with you uh, to let you know what fun um, I have with my kids since I'm a mother and a grandmother. Kids, we also have a memory verse for today that I wanted to share with you. Our memory verse for today says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This is right. And that is found in Ephesians 6, 1. Ephesians, in, Ephesians is in the New Testament. Let's say that again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Last week, guys, we talked about putting memory verses on index cards. This would be a great one, guys, for you to get an index card and have your mom or somebody in your house help you write this on an index card and put this in your bedroom so that every morning when you wake up, you will remember to obey your parents because that's what God wants you to do. He wants you to obey your moms and to love them. Okay, now... um. Parents, I want to let you know that um, at the end of May, the church is going to be having a course called Everyday Bible, and we want to invite you to sign up for this course uh, just to help you learn how to study the Bible and equip you, parents, so that you are able to teach your children about the Bible. Um, you can go on the church's website, and I believe there's a sign-up uh, form on the website that you can sign up and then it'll be a virtual class that you can take starting at the end of May so that you can learn to disciple your children in the Word of God. Um, guys, before we leave, I just want to thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I love spending these Sundays with you. I miss seeing you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day with your moms and your grandmas. I hope that you can do something special for them today and just have a fun, fun time today with your moms and your grandmas and that special person that you live with. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week. Miss Bev misses you, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.